Hi, uh, welcome to Astro Journey UK. In today's video, I'm going to be finding a supernova in the M101 Pinwheel Galaxy. Um, perfect timing, really. Uh, it's just only been recently discovered, and I've already got my telescope out ready to uh, image uh, some galaxies for galaxy season. And uh, thought I'd take a shot of this uh, once in a lifetime opportunity. So, if you want to see what I've captured, then uh, keep watching. So my uh, setup to capture the supernova is um, I've got the Skywatcher 200p Newtonian telescope. Uh, I've got the ASI Air still uh, stuck to the top. I still need to get a, uh, a bar for that. Um, in terms of cameras and guide scopes and everything, I've got the ASI 533MC Pro, so it's a one-shot colour camera. And then in the filter drawer there, I've got the Optolong L Pro light pollution filter. Uh, down the back there you can see hidden the uh, ZWO EAF to uh, handle the focusing. Uh, I've got the guide scope here. Uh, a few people have highlighted this isn't actually uh, good enough for uh, guiding this particular telescope. Um, it's not quite enough uh, focal length. However, I'm kind of getting good guiding. Uh, not getting terrible stars or anything like that. So uh, yeah, do need to change it, but it's it's okay. It's good enough. In terms of the mount, I've got the Skywatcher EQ6R Pro mount. Uh, so I've left the uh, ZWO AM5 um, in the in the Astro shed at the moment, um, and just decided to get this out purely because uh, I know I'm not going to run into any issues with uh, the telescope hitting the, the mount legs or anything like that. So uh, that's everything all set up and ready to go. Uh, just need to wait for it to get dark, and I can start imaging. So M101, or the Pinwheel Galaxy, can be found at the head of Ursa Major in the northern part of the sky. So here we have Ursa Major, there's the head alcade, and this little speck here is the Pinwheel Galaxy. And in this app, Sky Guide, currently you won't see the supernova, because this was taken a while back. Um, however, that's what we're going to image tonight, and we're going to be able to see the supernova near NGC 5462. So, uh, completed polar alignment now. What we're going to be doing now is um, slewing over to M101. So we're in preview mode. Uh, just go into uh, tonight's best. Tap on search and type M101 hit return hit the compass and then hit go to literally the best possible time to uh, image this target given that it's straight up and shooting through the least amount of atmosphere. So um, yeah, the sky is looking actually quite clear at the moment. Just about to see a crescent moon over there as well, which I was hoping to shoot, but it's just um, just below the roof line, which is a bit of a shame. However, um, we're here to shoot a supernova, so um, just waiting for that to finish plate solving. Um, so it's it's gone first to where it thinks it is, plate solved, realised it wasn't quite in the right location and it's then slewed to where it should be and just keeps doing that plate solving until it's actually found the target so what we'll do is it just takes a, um, it's taking a three second um, sub and we're not doing any guiding at the moment so let's uh, make sure the guiding is turned on so uh, this is all set up from uh, a couple of nights ago so uh, I've done all of the guiding calibration everything should be fine from that point of view so 
the grinding's kicked off. Let's just take a take a 30 second exposure and just see that we've definitely got uh, the view that we're looking for. I think you'll probably maybe use your imagination and <laughs> see the pinwheel galaxy there, but um, let's leave a 30 second exposure and see what we get there. It's a little bit windy tonight as well, so I'm not sure how good the seeing's actually going to be. Um, currently as well, for, for your benefit, you can uh, I've got a light lighting up the telescope, um, and you can see on the preview in the image that um, there's some really nasty sort of banding in the image as well, and I think that's because the light's shining up underneath um, the actual behind the mirror and then reflecting up. So when I actually start to uh, image this properly, yep, yeah, I'm definitely uh, going to turn that light off. Guiding is looking a bit interesting from a uh, declination point of view. Okay, so that's a uh, 30 second exposure. You can see that the pinwheel galaxy is, is there somewhere. Very, very faint, um, but it's definitely there. Um, and I wonder if if that bright speck there is actually the supernova. It does look quite possible, seeing as it's quite a bright element, but um, yeah, what we're going to do now is uh, just go into, into plan. I'm going to edit a plan here. It's turn that M63 off, which is another project that I was working on fairly recently. Turn that off. Go back into plus. Do M101 again. Tap on the compass. Hit confirm. And then hit the plus again to uh, take some, some images. So you can take as many as I think we're we're in summer now so it doesn't actually get properly dark um so we're in permanent astronomical twilight where i live at the moment which is a bit of a pain but it is what it is um so i'm going to take about as many as i can take exposures 300 seconds um and that's all of that coming out of here make sure that the plans reset So from a, uh, a plan perspective, we've got auto cooling, Meridian flip, uh, which we're going to be fairly close to a flip by the looks of things. Um, auto cooling, start now and end when we've got astronomical morning light. And then it will just um, go back to the home position and that's it. So everything's looking good. What we'll do now is hit start hit OK and it's just basically gonna slew back to the target plate solve and then that's it I'm gonna turn this uh, light off now and uh, let it start imaging <laughs> that's just typical I managed to kick this video off literally at the point it's about to do a meridian flip so um, yeah, what a pain. So here we go, coming up to the uh, first exposure here. Just waiting for this to load. So uh, we've got the meridian flip, so actually we're the other way around that we were before. If we kind of zoom in down to here, um, fundamentally that big, there we go, that big bright spot right in the middle is the supernova. Uh, so that wasn't there before. Um, you can see like the, the stars and a little bit of nebulosity just to the uh, the left of it at the bottom. Uh, apologies for that, there's a plane flying overhead. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Look at that. My first captured supernova. And what's interesting is just the sheer brightness when you think about it compared to the core of the actual galaxy itself and the top of the image it's significant bright, significantly brighter than literally everything else in this particular field of view so uh, yeah, amazing and it took 20 million years to actually reach reach where we are at the moment so uh, yeah, that's pretty awesome so uh, yep, yeah, some nice satellite trails in there but uh, those will calibrate out we're just going to take a lot more images probably about 20 or 30 I think which 
Um, yeah, not going to end up with a fantastic image at the end of the day. Um, just one, one partially dark night. Um, but yeah, that's that's really cool. I really like that. Awesome. So I found this little fella when I was uh, about to take my flats. Uh, let me know in the comments whether you think it would actually affect the image or not. And you'll also notice the absolute state of my mirror in the telescope, which is well overdue a clean, and that will be happening over the next month or so.